The Half Chick, a fairy tale from Spain, with music by Granados, De Falla, Villa Lobos, and Albinet. Sisters. Indeed, he was such a strange, queer looking creature that his mother could scarcely believe her eyes. He was so different from the other fluffy, downy, soft little chicks. This one looked just as if he'd been cut in two. He had only one leg, and one wing, and one eye, and he had half a head. head sadly as she looked at him and said, My youngest born is only a half chick. He can never grow up a tall and handsome rooster like his brothers. <coughs> they will go out and rule over pork yards of their own. But this poor fellow will always have to stay at home with his mother. And she called him Medio Pollito, which is Spanish for half chick. Now, though Major Pollito was such an odd, helpless looking little thing, his mother soon found that he was not willing to remain under her wing and protection. Indeed, in character, he was as unlike his brothers and sisters as he was in appearance. They were good, obedient chickens. And when the hen chicked after them, they chirped and ran back to her side. But Major Pugito, he had a roving spirit in spite of his one leg. And when his mother called to him to return to the coop, he pretended that he could not hear because he only had one ear. When she took the whole family out for walk in the fields, and hide among the Indian corn. Many an anxious minute his brothers and sisters had looking for him, while his brother mother ran to and fro, cackling in fear and dismay. One day, he strutted up to his mother with his peculiar way of kick and so on, way of walking and cocking his one eye at her, said, Mother, I am tired of this life in a dull farmyard with nothing but a dreary maize field to look at. I'm off to Madrid to see the kick. To Madrid, Major Puyito, exclaimed his mother. Why, you silly chick. It would be a long journey for a grown-up rooster get back a bit. And a poor little thing like you would be tired out before you'd gone half the distance. No, no. Stay at home with your mother, and someday when you are bigger, we will go on a little journey together. But Medio Pollito had made up his mind, and he would not listen to his mother's advice, nor to the prayers and entreaties of his brothers and sisters. What is the use of our all crowding each other up in this poky little place, he said, when I have a fine courtyard of my own at the king's palace, I shall perhaps ask some of you to come and pay me a short visit. And scarcely waiting to say goodbye to his family, away he stuck down the high road that led to Madrid. Be sure that you're kind and civil to everyone you meet, called his mother running after him. But he was in such a hurry to be off that he did not wait to answer, even or even to look back. A little, 
painter. Oh, I should let you play first. Baby. Dinner. 
And opening the window, he stretched out his arm, caught Mario Pollito, and popped him into the broth pot that was standing near the fire. Sadly, out over the town. 